tonight developing details on a school prayer controversy. In about one hour, the Cranston School Committee is scheduled to meet behind closed doors to discuss whether to appeal a federal court ruling that called for the removal of a religious mural that's been in the Cranston West Auditorium for decades. It is a case that's become so heated, we've learned it's actually resulted in death threats. And tonight, the superintendent tells us he thinks it would be best for the city to abandon this fight. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us live now from Cranston with the developing details. Yes, Susan, we're here at Western Hills Middle School in Cranston, where the school committee is set to meet in about an hour. You can see behind me here, there's a police presence here for two reasons, both because this school committee meeting is playing out against the backdrop of death threats and because a talk radio host is organizing a rally to coincide with the school committee meeting. Extra police patrols around Cranston High School West today. Last week, a federal judge ordered the immediate removal of a prayer mural in the auditorium here. Instead, the school covered it up until the Cranston School Committee decides whether or not to appeal the judge's ruling. A student who's an atheist, 16-year-old Jessica Alquist, brought a lawsuit against the prayer mural, and a judge agreed it violates the constitutional separation of church and state. Almost immediately, Jessica Alquist became the target of death threats on Twitter and Facebook. One critic, a student, already has been disciplined. I think it's promoting intolerance and hate, and that is not a Christian value that I support. And, you know, regardless... Which is ironic, then, isn't it? It certainly is. And, I mean, regardless of anyone's beliefs, just humankind. We just be kind to one another. As the threats continue, and as the police continue to investigate them, the Cranston School Committee will be meeting soon to discuss whether the city can afford an expensive appeal. No decision is expected, but Cranston Superintendent of Schools already knows what he'd like. We really need to start concentrating on educating kids. You want this to go away, that's what I'm hearing, right? I want to move on. But moving on won't be easy because some of the students are now wearing t-shirts with the prayer mural printed on them. We tracked down one such t-shirt and we'll show it to you, new at 6. Live in Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.